Hi everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and welcome to this behavior break. I used to do short behavior breaks during our Royals at the Ranch series and I decided that I would re-implement this little short video series that gives you very short lessons and different topics. Today is July 30th, 2025, and this first new edition of Behavior Break is inspired by a roundtable I just participated in earlier today, which you will be able to watch on August 10th, 2025 on Happy Basin's YouTube channel. So if you're watching this prior to August 10th, you have something great to look forward to. And if you're watching this after August 10th, then you should be able to go to Happy Basin's YouTube channel and check that round table out. So how do I define enrichment? I personally define enrichment as the intentional provision of novel stimuli, opportunities, and experiences that promote species typical behaviors, psychological well-being, and behavioral flexibility through choice, agency, and engagement in a way that produces positive emotional valence for the participant. And that participant could be human, it could be non-human, it could be a snake, a dog, a horse. It doesn't matter what species of animal is experiencing the enrichment. This is how I define it. Enrichment is purposeful. It's an it's a on purpose change to the environment <clears throat> and that is different from living an enriched life through routine environmental complexity or through repeating the same engaging activities and experiences. So we might have lots of activities that we enjoy doing that our snakes enjoy doing that our other reptiles or other animals like our dogs and cats and horses really enjoy repeating, but that's not enrichment. Enrichment is new and novel or true enrichment involves something new or an infrequent stimuli. So it might be something that the animal engages in every once in a while. Enrichment supports species typical behaviors, psychological well-being and behavioral flexibility. It's something that the animal needs to be able to have the choice to engage in or not. And it has to be an activity and experience or an object that gives them benefit or reinforces them or that they find some type of pleasure out of engaging with. If it frightens them, if it's something that they are trying to escape or avoid, then that's not enrichment. Enrichment is something that has positive emotional affect for the participant. So just remember that effective enrichment offers choice, agency, and engagement. Remember, enrichment is not just giving animals something to do. We're creating opportunities for them to be themselves, to engage, to make decisions, and to feel safe doing so. An enriched life is a very well-designed habitat or very well-designed captive animal environment with options and environmental complexity that the participant can engage with daily. An enrichment might be a new puzzle feeder or an object to engage with that's new, that the animal hasn't encountered before, or just a new environment to explore. So thanks for learning with me today. And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.